Hi, I'm Pat Bashara, and I live in Carmel, Indiana, and I have a husband and three daughters and 11 grandchildren, and I was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2018. My mom and dad met because my mom grew up in Spain. Her mother was Egyptian, my dad was Egyptian. She would go spend summers in Egypt. Pat became one of 27 pen pal girls I was corresponding with. <laughs> we got married in July of 68. I always thought they had a really good relationship. My dad worked for Lily and um, traveled a lot. And she was the enforcer of the rules. Oh, I used to get so mad at them when they would fight, and I would say to them, you will love each other someday, and thank God they do. <laughs> Family is and always has been the most important for both of my parents. Both of my mom's parents have Alzheimer's. They both lived well into their 80s. I mean, they both lived very full lives. That's my dad right here. And that's when he, during World War II, when he went to Egypt, and that's where he met my mom. Dad pulled me aside and wanted to talk to me about something, and he told me that he felt like Mom wasn't remembering things as well, and if I had noticed anything, and I kind of had it. When I found them talking to each other, and they stopped talking when I walked in the kitchen one day, I, you know how that feeling is, well, are you talking about me? <laughs> and they said, yeah. And then she said, Mom, do you think you're starting to forget things? And I said, yeah, I think I am. Based on what we know now from a testing standpoint, she had everything to indicate that she had Alzheimer's. My first thought was, oh, I'm going to forget the names of my children, my husband, and my grandchildren. One day, Pat may look at me and doesn't know who I am. On the emotional side, I'm angry. Why? Why should this happen? Why my wife? There is hope for people who have this diagnosis. That's what we want people to know about. And the Alzheimer's Association has been so helpful for all of us. There's so many resources through Alzheimer's Association and so that we get supported through that. Well, it feels like people are caring for you, really, that they love you. And even though you're not who you might have been a few years ago, that uh, you're still a person and you have a life you want to live and they go with you in your journey. There is life after being diagnosed with Alzheimer's or memory challenge. There are pharmaceuticals medication now. There's no cure right now. Um, your best chance at medication for a cure is a clinical trial. They're studying a lot of drugs. God love her, I think we screened for five or six different studies. And I think it is helping me for sure, because uh, I'm doing so well, I feel, after six years. I think hope means to me believing in the positive. I think we're gonna conquer the disease and we're gonna give Pat every opportunity to live the balance of her life, driving and babysitting grandchildren, enjoying going out and singing and dancing. Please don't feel that this is the end of the world if, if you have Alzheimer's because it isn't. You can still live a great life. <laughs>